Welcome once again to interview. We continue today with our Chefs in Schools program. We have with us today two chefs from St. Joseph's Convent who are going to be participating in this year's initiative by the St. Lucia Hotel and Tourism Association. To my immediate right is Carice Joseph and next to her, Janai Williams. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. First of all, tell us, uh, Carice, what really got you selected to participate in this event? Because we've had different lead-ups from other students who are actually part of the program as to how they got selected. In your case, at the St. Joseph's Convent, how were you selected, first of all, in your instance? Well, we had an internal schools competition and we will see the we emerged. we emerged victorious and here we are today training for the SLHTA competition. Okay, now that I've gotten at least from Carice how it happened, well, probably, Gina, you can tell me how was the competition within the school, how many students participated and what was the, the background? Were, were there students from a food and nutrition class or did anybody just invited if they had an interest in culinary arts? Well, we had um, two students from Form 4 participating, um, a pair of Form 3s and Form 5s, and we, it was held on Women's Day, so, yes. Okay, and, and how was the format of the comedy? Was it something similar to what you're going into, or, or was it something different? Well, we prepared a signature dish, yes, so I would say it is quite similar. Okay, and what was your signature dish? We had a, a dashing dish with saltfish stuffed and a chicken stuffed with Spin chicken breast stuffed with spinach and feta cheese. Oh, great! So it was two, it was a, as as pairs as yes. team, so that, and two of you were, were the team that yes. yeah, emerged victorious. Well, some background, both of you. First of all, you Chris, in terms of how were you attracted to you know the kitchen, culinary arts and stuff like that? Is it just because you were at school and doing food and nutrition? No, I would have to say from the tender age of five, I have always looked up to my mother in the kitchen and I said like, I wanted to pursue something like that. I always wanted to be something with the, something to do with the kitchen, so. Okay, Janai, your experience? Well, I personally, enjoy cooking and when it was time for me to choose my subjects i decided to choose efforting as i aspire to be a chef in the future okay so tell us about efforting in, in the school how, how often do, do you do you have the subject it, it, is, is it a subject that you really look forward to lots of people would more or less gravitate to other academic subjects but is it something that you, you really enjoy doing and look forward to the food and nutrition um, timetable Yes, I would say that the theory part is a lot, but the practical, you really enjoy it. If you do your research right, then it's something that's easy to grasp and yes. So what's your case? Well, I would say the theory part, it's a lot too. And the practical, I think it's, it's, a, it's a learning experience. Us. Well, let's move on to the, the actual competition, how you're preparing. We know that most of you have had attachments to, to hotels and experiences with chefs. What has been the experience for you, the hotel that you've been at, and how has it been so far? Well, we are at Windjammer Landings, Villa and Resorts, and our chef is Nisa Paul, and she has really taught us a lot. Um, this is a learning experience. It has been a, a very interesting learning experience. We've learned the different sources, many different ways of cut, the many different cuts. Plate presentation, time management, and yes. Yes, so how has your experience been like around the hotel? Being at the hotel, you know, it's going to be different than being at school. How has that experience been? It's different because in the kitchen it's busy. Well, in the school, it's, there's n not much people, so it's different. So the feedback from the other person that you interact with while at the hotel, how has it been? Do they encourage you? 
Yes, everybody is very encouraging. Like if we're doing something and we're not doing it right, the different people at the hotel will tell us, no, it's not like that. You could, you could do it some, way, some different way and we'll correct it. Well, has that experience with any hotel um, inspired you more even to, to become the chef that you would like to be? Yes, because I see people like that is what I want to do. Like the people at the hotel, the service, everybody is nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. well, we take yes. our first break on the program, but when we come back, we actually look at um, how you actually the practical preparation for the upcoming duel that you're going to have with other local chefs within the schools. And we'll speak more about your own aspirations of going to the regional competition. We have our first break on interview today. Climat la terre a changé. Et ça a affecté nous toutes. Cyclone qui a venu plus mauvais. Gros de l'eau et que la prend de l'eau. Car des tous les animaux et plants. Quand la mer a venu plus chaud. Et qu'a tué place qui se pressent dans la gravité. La mer choua qui a aussi changé de manière se pressent. Car qui était d'un côté et allé à l'autre côté. Cette liste a contribué un petit zin gaz en l'espace. Quand un petit pays nous a essayé de faire tout ça nous a fait. Pour assurer qu'il nous baisse à ce quantité de gaz nous a servi pour empêcher la terre. Benefit Nous tous, ça fait quelque chose. Par exemple, nous n'y pouvons assurer qui nous protecter tout ça nous a planté. Servir fumier qui est naturel. Batir caillou pour abattre des manches en temps cyclone et godelot. Construire canal pour l'eau couler bien quand il faut. Et assurer qui canal là par les ordres. Faire tout ça qui est possible pour vivre en temps changement climat ça. Trouver plus d'informations à ce plan d'adaptation national gouvernement et des marches ou même ça prend pour protéger corps et tout notre cette lycéen. Welcome back to Interview. We continue with our series of interviews on the Chefs in Schools program. And we have with us two students from St. Joseph's Convent today in Curtis Joseph and Janai Williams. Ladies, we are now going into the real meat of the matter, no pun intended actually. But we know that you are preparing for this competition. You have your signature dish and you also have a mystery basket. They will take different strategies in terms of getting prepared to it to come up against the best from the other schools. What have you been doing, first of all, with your signature dish to ensure that you provide the judges something really competitive that will make it very difficult for them to overlook your presentation? We have our signature dish and we often prepare it and we serve it to the teachers, the teachers and other some workers at the hotel so they can give us feedback on maybe some ways to improve that dish so that we can emerge victorious okay and what, what do you like about doing the signature dish well i think that our signature dish is unique it has a twist to it we're incorporating a lot of local items into our dish so all right, Carice, the, the mystery basket, it's something I'm, I'm sure that you pay particular attention to because you, know, you don't know what is going to be thrown at you. So what is the whole strategy, the technique in your approach when you get the mystery basket and how you're going to prepare it? Well, for the mystery basket, we have been looking at many different ways of re um, preparing different starches, like interesting ways for starches, proteins, the vegetables, vegetables sauces vegetables. we've learned a lot of sauces so that if anything we will be prepared if anything out of ordinary comes in the basket we will be prepared for it and what what does the, the chef tell you in terms of the mystery basket is there a particular strategy because you you, uh, you did mention what starches and sauces and stuff like that is there a particular strategy that they, they say from their own experience that they tell you what to look out for and what to do I would say that they, with different proteins, then you have to find complementary starches and yes, sauces and yes. Vegetables. Okay, tonight tell us uh, about the, the mystery basket. How are you going to approach it? 
we're going to approach it with an open mind because anything out of the ordinary we would have to work with okay any uh, closing remarks um Caris? anything any closing anything that you what would you like to say oh yes we are coming for the win we're not going to back down from a challenge and we are very confident in our dish and we will be coming for the win okay very good approach and uh, I would like to say that we have worked hard and our efforts will pay off by God's grace we will be victorious well thank you Curtis Joseph and Janai Williams being part of inter interview today as we continue with our focus on the chefs in schools program and the upcoming cook-off thank you very much for being part of our program mm -hmm.